Well, let's just have a quick look here, make sure everything's up and running. Before I get all started and, you know, do something completely stupid where I <laughs> forget to connect something or, you know, any of the countless things that I do completely wrong on this stream. <laughs> There's also probably not an angle that anybody is used to seeing me at. So, uh, hello there. This is super awkward to me. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of this setup after I'm done, cause, oh my god, I... <laughs> I had to go through so many hoops to get this thing all set up. This is certainly not a, a stream setup I'm gonna be using very often. Alright, well, for the most part, it looks like YouTube is up and running now. Let's see. I'll, I'll have to wait for the slight delay so I can see my hand on the stream. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice. Looks like everything is up and running. Hello, we got some people in chat. That's that's what we want to see. Perfect. So, uh, I guess I'll do the introduction. I'm going to have to be very animated with my hands because I am not moving this setup whatsoever. <laughs> so, hello everyone. How's it going, folks? My name is Jacob and welcome back to the channel. <laughs> this feels so weird. Uh, anyways, you guys saw that thumbnail. You know what you're clicking on. This here is a fight stick. Specifically, it is an 8-bit do arcade stick. Uh, this was actually the birthday present that I got this year. Um, I am officially a year older now, and uh, every time I think about that, I have some existential crisis of some sort. Uh, so yeah, that's essentially what we're going to be doing today. Now, uh, before we actually get into any sort of matches or anything in the game, I guess I should probably just try to explain my layout. This might not look, you know, super great or anything like that. I'm also not very experienced with fight sticks, and uh, fun fact about me, I don't know how to type properly, so I will probably just be using, like, three fingers and completely messing everything up that I should be. Uh, so very quickly before we get started, uh, I'm just going to hop into training mode just to explain, you know, what this is going to be all about. Uh, just show you the control layout that I have. Uh, show a couple weird quirks that I found... Uh, just, you know, in doing a little bit of testing. And so, obviously, we gotta start off with Mr. Terry. He's theoretically the one who should benefit the most from a uh, control layout like this, right? Perfect. It looks like we got chat showing up on stream, too. That's pretty good. I was hoping that would come up. I, I saw a couple of, uh, a couple of messages. Uh, how is it? Uh, so far, actually, it's been pretty cool. Uh, so we'll get into things sort of shortly. Um, I don't know how well you can see it on stream, but they do actually have like some illuminated buttons that would show what the buttons are. Uh, we're going to completely ignore that because I've changed up my entire control layout. So, uh, you know, hopefully it's not as awkward as this button layout would be. So uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a heads up. So the button over here labeled X, that's just normal. That's going to be a normal jump for me. Uh, the Y button is going to be my attack button. I feel like this is just the easiest, you know, to get like some some easy short hop aerials, stuff like that. I know Terry doesn't do a whole lot of that, but I've actually been doing somewhat decent as even Banjo using the fight pad, which uh, I was not expecting at first, to be honest with you. Uh, the B button down here is just as normal, the B button, you know. We're going to get all those, uh, all those true inputs, right? I don't even think that was an input. I've, I probably should have <laughs> figured that out, first of all. It is kind of insane to see. It, it feels even more insane to actually just be sitting here and doing this, because this is really fun. Uh, other than that, so this button down here, which is labeled the A button, is actually going to be my shield. I believe I have that set to the L button or something like that. Uh, I don't even know. Anyways, yeah, the A button here is going to be the shield, and the R button is going to be my grab. So essentially, I kind of have it set up where I can kind of jump, you know, do my aerials, jump, do a special attack, something like that. And I've got a finger there so I can do a grab. You can also tech using the grab button, which is great. I, I just figured that out now. Um, so yeah, forward, down, down, forward, attack. Oh yeah, so there we go. I think one of the easiest ways to tell that you can do it too is just by using the A button. Because like, you know, normally if you just do a side B, it will just kind of show up like that. Whereas like, if you try to do a true input and then hit the A button, like that, there you go. That kind of shows it too. Uh, the other weird thing that I've kind of noticed about this is that uh, you kind of have to click the stick all the way in and there's like a tiny little bit of a delay where things are kind of weird. <laughs> Your videos are great, thank you very much. Uh, I don't know how great this video is going to be so far, because you're kind of just watching me uh, fiddle around with a controller. 
So yeah, there's, there are a couple weird things. Like, uh, you know, normally if I were to play Smash Bros, something like this, oh, excuse me, something like that would be like a smash attack, right? But sometimes I find it really weird. Like sometimes it will not at all register that I've tried to do a smash attack. I mean, I guess it's kind of working now. I don't know if maybe something was kind of weird before. But yeah, there were times where I would kind of click the stick sideways and hit the A button and I'd end up just doing a dash attack or like a tilt attack like that instead. It's not the most frequent thing in the world, but, uh, you know, it could be rather annoying. Okay, so let's uh, give that a quick restart there. Uh, so the other thing that's uh, a little bit kind of weird about... Uh, ultimate inputs have like a... Uh, okay, it makes sense. Yeah, so there is a little bit of a delay in here. I've kind of also found that too using uh, some of the special moves. I feel like I can hit uh, Power Geyser very consistently, but Buster Wolf, for whatever reason, I just have a tough time trying to connect that. Uh, I guess just for the sake of it, just to try to show you, we'll scroll down here. Uh, so I'll show off a couple other features too, just before we actually get into some CPU matches, because uh, I'm basically going to try to train myself up on this thing, because I do have an idea for an eventual video. Uh, what do we got here? I play Terry by mashing the control stick and pressing A. That is very fair. Uh, Terry, he's fun to play. I'm sure actual fighting game players would probably have an easier time with him. Someone like me who's like picking up a fight stick for the first time and has no idea what to do with this damn thing. Uh, I don't know, man. I kind of just hit the buttons. Okay, so uh, we're going to try to do... Uh, let's just do a power geyser first of all. That's not... Okay. I already messed that up. I don't know if it's just like specifically... Oh yeah, there we go. I think I'm just not so used to it. Like, I think I end my my input on the left side a little bit before true left, like right there. Okay, bye-bye, Terry. <laughs> it's, it's quite bizarre. Like, I feel like sometimes I get it perfectly fine, but then other times it just, you know, very much does not work for me. Oh, yeah, look how great I am. Perfect. There we go. Well, there's a power geyser. You know, you can kind of just wiggle it around randomly, and that's that's kind of the easiest way. Oh, okay, I guess we got a Buster Wolf somehow. Oh, look at that. I'm already leveled up. <laughs> I'm getting better already. You have to go? That's no worries. Thanks for thanks for sticking by and checking out this really weird, uh, <laughs> really weird setup we got here. Oh yeah, of course we got to do the Jab Jab Power Dunk. That is still uh, consistent as ever. I do eventually hope to, like, have some kind of a video out about this. I've been wanting to do a video on, like, different controllers you can use for Smash Bros. for a long time. Uh, you know, pretty much even as far back as when I made that first, like, how to choose your main video back, like, you know, almost this time last year, even. So eventually I would like to get that all figured out. Uh, if you do plan on using a controller like this in tournament, though, you will not be able to, because this is a controller that not only has a turbo button... Uh, that yellow button over there. I guess I could probably show that off. Although, I don't even know what button would be best to show it off with. Probably something like shield. There you go. We got a turbo button there. Now, because I'm not the one that's actually pressing it in, uh, that technically makes it illegal for tournaments. So, I would not recommend getting this if you really want to try Smash Bros. in tournament. Uh, I would suggest something probably more like the box. That's a melee controller that basically allows you to have sort of analog inputs. But because it's not turbo enabled and it's specifically designed for Smash Bros, uh, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't be able to use it. Oh, there we go. I actually hit it. I feel like when I actually try to get the correct input in, it never works. I just kind of flick the control stick and they just like, oh yeah, that's what you wanted, right? Look at that. Excellent. I think the best way to do the inputs is buffer them during an attack. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah, Terry can kind of do that, buffer the weird command inputs with uh, with normal attacks. Maybe if I was playing with an actual GameCube controller or a GameCube style controller, I might get that. <laughs> but certainly not today. I, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything good with this. So yeah, the other thing you've probably also noticed too, uh, this is not like a traditional control stick. You know, as soon as you start inputting in a certain direction, it is just full on. I cannot walk, I can't crawl. Uh, I basically go into full sprint mode every time I press it. So the way that I've been doing a lot of my controls, at least, is just kind of wiggling the stick back and forth to kind of move left and right. So yeah, that might be uh, somewhat annoying. That also means I'm going to have a very difficult time doing like a forward tilt unless I do it out of a dash like that or out of a smash attack. 
Uh, down tilt, of course, is just normally fine, and I don't have stick jump on either, so I can do an up tilt. But just if I need a forward tilt for whatever reason, Terry's just not my guy. Not this time, at least. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I guess the only other thing I could show off is uh, normally this is mapped to the left stick. If I switch the switch over here, I can now have a D-pad, so I basically just have a taunt wheel, which is uh, great as all hell. And you can also switch it to a right stick input. So now I am exclusively doing tilt attacks with the inability to move. Again, like, yeah, maybe practically I still have my <laughs> my tilt attacks, but I feel like I'm not going to have the time to, you know, switch that over, then tilt, then switch back. It's it's so impractical. Hold down forward and jump, yeah. Okay, well, anyways, that is basically the uh, the quick demonstration of how this thing works. So now, now's the fun part. We're going to see uh, if I can actually take on some level 9 CPUs using this. Because I have a feeling I won't be able to. <laughs> I don't even know. I feel like I'm not so great at Terry anymore. I kind of, you know, took a break from practicing with him and whatnot. Uh, so I've kind of mostly been playing Banjo using this thing so far, like in the day that I've had it or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm an expert by any means. Hold forward and jump. Is that actually a thing? If that is, that's so weird. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll have to test it out in a game. Uh, you know, maybe just for a quick warm-up. I'm going to start with a little 7 CPU, just because, uh, you know, I'm not all that great with my Terry, I will fully admit. We'll go green Terry. Fits with the channel theme, right? Alright, so we're up against Lucina. Already, I don't think this is like a great matchup whatsoever. But I mean, it is a CPU. What's the worst that could happen, right? Well, I mean, she hasn't even got a hit on us yet. I'm also so scared to edge guard. Like, I feel like anytime I try to edge guard with Terry, I'm just gonna kill myself. Oh, sorry, I wanna be YouTube friendly. I'm gonna commit not alive. So, I mean, maybe a level 5, or excuse me, a level 7 CPU is a little bit of a pushover. But we'll definitely try level 9. And who knows, maybe if my internet cooperates, maybe I'll actually try to play a couple games online against some real humans. You know, just to prove that I know what I'm doing. Oh, I think I did like a true input power dunk there, because I totally hit the A button. Oh, jeez, okay. That absolutely terrified me. I thought I was going to die off the edge of the stage there. This is also such a weird feeling. Like, yeah, sometimes I kind of do this with Banjo just for, like, a sort of an intimidation tactic, but I never try to use this, like, practically to move. Alright, so somehow down air did it. Okay, wait. So if I hold forward and press jump. Okay, so so far... Yeah, that does not appear to be working. I would be very surprised if they uh, if they had planned for people to use like analog controls in this thing. Oh wow! Well, I hit an up air out of my grab, which uh, you know, Smash Four Mario anyone? Oh, I do have Go Go meter, so let's. Uh... Oh yo, we could have got it actually. Oh no! I input the Buster Wolf. Okay. I think maybe if I hit Power Geyser, I don't think that would have been like 100% true, but that would have been real funny. You really trying to counter me, eh? I also find it very, uh, very simple to use this for like a fast falling aerial. I might even actually use this for uh, combo quickies whenever I quick or uh, whenever I film some of those bits. Because sometimes doing the fast fall aerial using the GameCube controller, I don't know. Maybe it's just my controller, but I have a tough time doing it sometimes. Maybe this could be practical for something like Peach, where you have to do a lot of, like, you know, up air and a fast fall down air into, uh, you know, a buffered float or something like that. Is it hard to do, like, the command inputs? Not terribly difficult. Like, I got it there, but then, like, you know, sometimes I feel like I have it and it just does not come out. Like, I definitely thought I had a Buster Wolf there. And, uh, you know, it's just giving me the, uh, what is it, Burning Knuckle, I believe is what it's called or something? I don't know, he he kind of speaks in some very strange, like, uh, English. I, I believe that's the term people use nowadays. 
Oh, you're gonna get jab jab power dunk for that. That's what you get for thinking that you know shit. Oh no, <laughs> I wanted to get the down air spike. Honestly, doing that with Terry is so savage. Okay, it's not a, oh, we could do a JV, but it's not a three stock. Okay, there we go. I should stop being so damn cocky all the time. This is also probably like the weirdest setup I've ever done for a video. And I've done some pretty strange things. I've played Yoshi using my nose and like the filming for that video was a bitch and a half to do too. Like half the time, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I might be dead. Yep, that's a Lucina edgeguard, okay. The filming for that video was like really difficult though because I, my camera was so like unstable and shaky the whole time. I was really afraid that it was gonna fall down at some point. But there we go, uh, you know, Terry can beat a level 7 CPU, apparently. Somehow this thing is completely legit. <laughs> I also hope that the sound of the fan next to me is not really coming through dinged, uh, too much. <laughs> level 9 went hard on the last stock, oh for sure. I've <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised that it put up that much of a fight. Where are we? My green skin. Oh yeah. So that's kind of weird thing, right? L and R are like reversed on the control here. So I'm so used to when I'm picking my skin, like say for Banjo, for example, right? I use the gold Banjo, which is just uh, three clicks of the left bumper. Like that. I'm so used to it. It's just like a natural instinct. But then I'll do that. And then I switch over to uh, whatever the hell that Banjo is. And that caught me off guard a couple times. Although I guess, you know, this controller it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm just talking about some weird shit. <laughs> Online time? Oh, I didn't mean to do another level 7 CPU, but whatever. Let's see if we can handle, uh, you know, projectile opponents this time. Because, you know, nothing more fun I can think about than playing a Lucas CPU. Yeah, see, that was 100% to be a power wave, but like, you know, sometimes things like this happen, right? We'll definitely get some online matches though, like, as long as my internet's willing to put up with me, because, uh, sometimes it gets incredibly laggy. Thank you so much, Canadian Rogers. Only 9%. Is that actually Terry's worst matchup? Well, I mean, hopefully the level 7 CPU won't exactly bring up too much of a fight here. But that is kind of funny to think, like... <laughs> I'm sure Terry really struggles against opponents that can camp him out like that. Oh, yikes, okay. Uh, I thought I was hitting the attack button for a second there. I also get a little confused sometimes too, because when I was first testing the controller, I kind of just used the uh, default setup, so this was my attack button. So I was used to jumping and then attacking, and then for a while I just kept air dodging, and I'm like, what the hell am I doing? And this is a very clicky controller, I'm sure you're probably hearing that through the, the microphone as well. I don't know, I think against real people will probably be the struggle, because they're definitely going to punish me every time I do something really awful. Alright, let's take down Mr. Lucas. Alright, jab jab power dunk. Oh, he fell out of it. Yo, that is so uncool of you, my dude. Any Ryu Ken? Yeah, we could probably try some Ryu and Ken as well. I, I'm much less, uh, I'm much, much less knowledgeable about the two of them. Like, you know, the Ryu for Fortnite video that I did, that's literally as much Ryu as I've played in Ultimate at all. Oh, wow. I did not know that you could intercept the uh, PK Thunder. Okay, well, I'm getting a little better. I was actually able to recover from fairly far off stage. Which, uh, you know, that's all we can really ask for at this point, right? Yo, did he just, uh... Oh, okay, I thought, I thought he was done for. Alright, I have a feeling. Today's gonna be the... Th Today's not gonna be the three stock. That is like the farthest thing from a true combo I can think of, and somehow it's uh, managed to work. Alright. 
We'll take out Lucas nice and quick. I don't even know if Terry like gets any benefits from his grabs at all. I've never really seen Terry do a whole lot of grabs. Well, who knows? Maybe we'll we'll find some hidden tech that you can only use doing a fight pad, you know? This is also pretty easy to mash with. Uh, I'm kind of just like not got the timing at all right now. Okay, let's... Uh... Okay. I guess that's still a W. <laughs> Did I do a quickies about Byleth? Not at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing them character by character. I'm like at the beginning of Brawl right now. The last one I did was uh, Ike, and then, you know, before that, Snake and Wario and ZSS, all that fun stuff. I'm still not quite there yet. It's kind of like a blessing and a curse. Like, I don't know, I feel like me personally just, uh, you know, seeing all the characters done in a row on the character select screen, I feel like that's just really satisfying for each of the different parts corresponding with the character's number. But then at the same time, I know there are a lot of people that are really antsy to see some of the new characters. And I feel like in general, like, a lot of the earlier characters on the roster are not people's favorites, per se. Alright, well, we're gonna go for the, uh, the true challenge now. We're gonna try a level 9 CPU. And I'll see, you know, just how awful I end up being at this. <laughs> Three, two, one, and we got a Yoshi, go! great. That's exactly what we need for uh, entertaining content on this stream. <laughs> now Yoshi is 100% going to start doing some crazy stuff in the air. Like, the Yoshi CPU, and I feel like a lot of the CPUs in general, like, they know their character's advantages. Oh, if that was a real player, maybe we could have tricked them with a little stage spike? I don't think we're getting the level 9 CPU, though. You know, I like every time I swear, Banjo is one of those characters that's very good at getting stage spikes using his back air. And like every time I play up against a level 9 CPU, like it never manages to work for me. There we go. What a dodge. What a nice dodge. Okay, let's land with a power dunk. Aw, oh, damn. No, 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 no. I don't want to do a side B. That wasn't a true input side B, was it? Eh, maybe it was. Alright. So far, Yoshi is completely uh, mincing me up here. Oh, yo. Okay. I didn't expect that to happen. I think I, like... Okay, I, I have not turned around, which is why I keep, you know, jumping off the stage like that. Okay, apparently dash attack kills at high percent, which is great. When the Shoto combo quickies drop, oh my god, I am not looking forward to doing those videos. Like, I'm genuinely kind of terrified. <laughs> not to say that I'm not, like, particularly good with any of them, which, uh, you know, say what you will. This, this gameplay is probably indicative about how good I am with a GameCube controller. But I mean, just, like, the variation in the subtleties and their different moves and, like... You know, a lot of them like being able to cancel using special inputs. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna manage that. But I guess like everything, it's sort of one of those like, uh, I never thought I'd get this far. But let's see what we're gonna do now. Like next one coming up uh, after this one is gonna be the Pokemon trainer. So I'm gonna do one for each of the different Pokemon. And I had that question a while ago, like, oh, when you get to Pokemon Trainer, are you going to do, like, every Pokemon individually or just one as a whole? And I was thinking, like, I don't freaking know, man. I just did, like, number seven. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do at that point. There we go. Okay, we just got to wiggle the control stick in random circles and we'll just get a random special move. That's kind of what I've learned. And somehow all that wiggling landed me a neutral beat. Alright, this is not looking so great. Yo, is... Did this guy really just camp me with his up B? For real, this is awful. <laughs> Why did it have to be Yoshi? That was another moment where I feel like I did the up input, but maybe my control stick wasn't all the way up. Like, I think I just ended up hitting a neutral air. Oh yeah, see, look at that mash. Yo, 
are we are we schmixing this Yoshi up? This is like <laughs> this is like the world's most kind of <laughs> I don't even know. I wouldn't even call this nasty. I would just say this is kind of like disgusting. <laughs> We're playing the most disgusting Terry in the world right now. These are like the complete. Oh, okay. I just hit attack buttons. Great. I just uh, you know committed not alive. All right, so that's a W for Yoshi. <laughs> Hopefully we get uh, matched up against someone who's not nearly as annoying to fight in the next match. This is genuinely pretty fun though, like just testing the control out, seeing if this is any good. Who the hell knows? I didn't know if this would work at all. And uh, you know, at some point, depending how the stream goes, we'll see. Maybe we'll test out a few other games too, just uh, just to see what's up, you know? There are probably some games that would benefit from either a turbo button or just the general layout of a, an arcade stick. Oh, great, and we're playing against Kirby, the one character who can just juggle me in the air like I mean nothing to him. I also find myself being much uh, more capable of like doing an SDI using this. I mean, I think it's just the, uh, the meaniness of this control stick. I don't know if that's really what you want to... I don't know if that's the right term for it per se, but I feel like this control stick really does help in terms of uh, SDI. So like, if we were to get a cross between like a GameCube controller and a fight pad, that might just be my ideal controller for Super Smash Bros. Ah uh, yes, I keep forgetting which button my shield is. You know, I mean, even just sitting here and, like, continuing to push back and forth just to do my run, I feel like that's, like, a super try-hardy move. Well, there we go. We managed to get the jab-jab power dunk. That's, uh, that's all you can ask for, right? Ah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh my god, this guy was trying to cheese me. I was so terrified. <laughs> This little goddamn marshmallow over here. Oh, yep, yeah, that is one dead Terry. I'm not making it back from a Kirby down air. I hope you weren't coming to this stream expecting, like, amazing gameplay or anything. <laughs> then again, does anybody come to this channel expecting that? Oh god, I thought that was going to spike me. That was really close. Yo, is he actually trying the little brother strategy on me? And is it working? Alright, we got the, the boost from the 69%. We we definitely have this game. Oh, we've lost it. Yeah, that, that will not... Oh, dude... I saw that happen in real time, like I tried to go for the jab to try to get something started and he just marshmallowed down. Oh my god. It's it's the pancaking of these tiny characters, I swear. Well, so far, uh, level 9 CPU has proved to be a little bit too difficult for me. Well, we'll give it a few more tries. There's bound to be a character that I can beat using this control scheme. Alright, you got this, Terry. We can do it. We just need a good matchup. Oh, this is a fight of the Shotos. Very fitting for the uh, the theming of this video. You guys think I don't know anything about how to play uh, Terry? I'm much worse with Ken and Ryu. Can this dude stop with his damn sure you can? I mean, I guess we have our, our neutral B power dunk wave. Excuse me, the power wave. So I can't really be complaining too much. Oh, yo, that was so... That was such a grab. What the hell was that? I did not even mean to power dunk there.
Oh, yo. Okay, maybe if I had timed that a little bit better, I would have gotten the actual Power Geyser kill, but uh, it's not happening today. Oh, yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, shoot. Okay. The fight pad looks like something from an arcade. Uh, from what I remember, I mean, at least looking from the visual style, I think this is meant to mimic, like, an old-school NES. Like, if you actually look at... I mean, I'm in the middle of the game. Maybe I'll show it off after the game. But if you look at it, it kind of has, like, the same general color scheme as the original NES. So, uh, we'll have to give that a peek afterward. Oh, man. that's That was, like, my one strategy is just do the uppy after a down throw. I swear to God, it's like I'm playing Banjo all over again. You know, Banjo down throw. It saves the character sometimes. Yikes. Okay, this dude is absolutely, like, within my head right now. He lives inside my head rent-free. And somebody's got to tell this dude to start paying up. Oh, no, he got me through the stage. That's some cheese if I've ever heard it. But we're actually up a stock this time, so this is uh, <laughs> feeling a little bit more doable. I mean, until he, like, focus attacks me into oblivion again. Okay, so that was Buster Wolf. That was not what I wanted to do. Oh, yo, I think he saved me. I think he, <laughs> he saved me. I so wouldn't have been able to make it back with Terry's recovery. Oh, no, that wasn't the right button. Shoot, okay. Well, good thing you had an extra stock. Come on, if it's not Ryu, then I don't know who would be more fitting to beat in this video. Yo, this dude is, like, getting around every one of my grabs. I did not appreciate that. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That was meant to be Jab Jab Power Dunk. I think it, like, went for the full jabs after that. Alright, come on. This Ryu is, like, mince meat. We got him. There's no way this doesn't kill. Yo, yes! <laughs> oh, it was the perfect kill too, yes! <laughs> That's what we needed. Oh man, well, I'm feeling optimistic. Alright, well, if my internet will allow me, uh, perhaps it is time to try some online. I don't necessarily think this is going to go very well, but, you know... We might as well, right? Oh yeah, I guess just for the sake of it, yeah. So if you like look at the rest of it, it's kind of colored in the same sort of uh, ideas like the original NES. It's like more dark on the bottom side. It's actually a very like well built, uh, very well built fight stick. Like it doesn't feel cheap per se. I mean, considering what the price of some of these fight sticks are, yeah. It's it's definitely cheaper than the average one for sure, but like build quality is all there and it feels very satisfying. I'm a huge fan of this uh, control stick. There definitely need to be like more controllers that take advantage of something like that. Solo battle. All right. Well, I don't know how confident I am in my online Terry, <laughs> sitting at three point three million GSP. But we will give it a try, and hopefully, uh, you know, I don't cause some pain and misery to some dude on the other end. Yeah, like, the, the fast-falling aerials are just so easy to perform with this. And I don't know if it's just the fact that it's analog and sends me, like, directly downward, but I just have such an easier time doing that. Okay, Young Link. Uh, excuse me, Toon Link. <laughs> Not the best first matchup. Yeah, we literally just have this dude, like, running away and starting to spam his projectiles. I don't see this going so well. Well, actually, somehow my internet connection is not pure ass right now. 
Oh wow, okay. We managed to get like a little up air string out of uh out of our grab. I'm kind of impressed, honestly. I don't think I'm meant to get up attack there, but I mean any extra chip damage, I will take it. You think your spin attack is good, dude? Try coming up against Terry. Mr. Terrence Bogard. Oh my god. I don't know if it was just like, you know, brain dead autopilot mode, but we managed to stock, which is crazy. Like, does this dude compare to a level 9 CPU? Eh, probably not. If we were somehow able to, like, stage spike him, I don't think he'd see it coming. This dude just cycles through all of his projectiles. <laughs> It's like he's doing roll call or something. Alright, well we've managed to live for quite a while. Aw, oh, yo, I so want to do the input. I don't think it was registering my down presses for whatever reason, which, yeah, you know, fair enough. I probably messed something up along there. Oh, yo, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm alive? Oh, okay. I'm not alive. Yikes. <laughs> well, okay. That could have been better. Oh, yeah. So now back to plan A. Just uh, spam our projectiles. Like it's nobody's goddamn business. I mean, if you're going to spam your B button moves, I might as well too, right? Yeah, there we go. Is that what you wanted to see? I mean, if that's all this gameplay devolves into, yeah, I'm absolutely well equipped to deal with this. Yo, as soon as I notice I got the grab, man, like, yikes. Well, good thing we didn't use our jump up. Uh, yikes. Oh, we didn't grab the ledge! Damn it! Oh, no. Okay. I hope this dude eventually ends up realizing that, yeah, you're fighting the dude that's playing on a fight stick, like... I don't even have all the controls. We'll give him a tea bag back for that. I mean, unless we can like cheese a stock out of him somehow, I don't see this being very possible. Shoot, shoot. I don't think we're winning this one, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, man. Okay, if we maybe stage spiked in there, I think we could have caught him off guard. He's also not really too high percentage. Like, I don't think it would have really gotten to him. Oh, no! Okay, maybe if I had power geysered there, that would have killed. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh, that crushes my soul, man. We were so close. <laughs> I don't know if I can hit him with a good game. Sure. We'll hit him with a cause is just. <laughs> ah, it hurts to lose against the, the spammy Toon Link. <laughs> All right, let's give this another shot. Let's just see, you know, can we do anything out of this?
that was a close match. I gotta say, like, I feel like my strats were all there. Obviously, you know, we're not talking pro-level strats here. I'm, I'm not facing MKLeo anytime using this. But I totally could if I had a GameCube controller. Ha! Huh. Alright, who we got? Who we got? Let's see... Oh, yikes. Uh, to be fair, I don't know what I was expecting. I probably would have said yikes regardless of who that was. I react like way too late to actually properly SDI, which is probably not good. Oh shoot, okay, I hit the wrong button again. That, that is 100% my fault. Palutena's, I swear to god. They'll like, start mashing you with the nair before you're even done your invincibility frames. Yeah, you really think your counter's gonna work, eh, man? Not when I can see your counter coming from a million years away. Why does that last for so damn long? <laughs> oh, yo, we got her, okay. That was pretty sick. We're down by quite a lot, but I think it's still possible. You know, as long as I don't stuff this stock up, like, super bad. You know, that's funny. I don't think I've ever seen Palutena grab before. Today's been like a learning experience for all of us, hasn't it? Oh, damn it. I think I DI'd the wrong way. Okay. Well, I lost my option to do my super special moves, which could have maybe come in handy. Okay, well, at least the counter was only on the jab. I can live with that. She really do just be throwing out hitboxes, don't she? Damn it, man. I don't even know. I felt more confident earlier, but I don't think I'm going to get this one. Excuse me? What was that? Oh, damn it, man. That one felt bad. What are we hitting this Palutena with? Oh, it doesn't matter. She left. Oh, I didn't want the well played. That wasn't well played at all. That was the spammiest, uh, <laughs> the spammiest Palutena I've ever seen. All right, come on. Come on, Fight Pad Terry. You can do it, man. God damn it, I have faith. All right. Game three. Hopefully we get some results this time. I just need, like, a good matchup. I, I don't want somebody who's, like, playing their main or playing a top tier or whatever. Nope. Mm. Oh, it's the same guy. Shit. Okay. Oh, this time it's small battlefield. I don't know how to feel about that, in all honesty. I don't know if Terry benefits or, uh, you know, goes... What the hell's the opposite of benefit? I think I'm just losing brain cells. Oh, damn it. I need to be a little bit closer. I would have gotten that punish. Well, whatever he is, I don't think I'm going to be getting all that much help from the platforms. It might just give me an escape option or something. Do you really neutral be like point blank? There are a million other things you could have been doing. Such as Nair. <laughs> oh damn, no. I read through that counter so bad. She grabbed me out of my power dunk. Excuse me. Well, excuse me, princess.
Oh, shit. Okay. I did not see that one coming. <laughs> My Terry looks like Riddle's Terry. I don't actually know who that is, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. <laughs> My Terry actually looks like hot garbage right now. <laughs> I'm losing this damn Palutena. Oh man. All she's doing is running away and doing up smash. Like, get real here. I am forgetting my control layout, which is uh, not what you want to be doing mid-match. Oh, yo, up smash actually killing? Wait, was this a one- How long has this match been going on? Has it really been a three stock? Oh, that's what I wanted. I wanted the jab jab power dunk. I have a feeling I'm not going to make it out of this one. Ah, oh, she read right into me. Damn it. Oh, okay. We need anybody but this Palatina at this point. <laughs> I wasn't feeling it, man. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work out. Oh, there is a chance, though. Okay. Maybe it won't boost my Terry, but I have been trying with some Banjo. Though Banjo is at quite a higher number of GSP. I'll do one match as Banjo. We'll see. Oh, it was a two-stock match. Okay, I thought it was. Two stock, seven minutes on small battlefield. That is an interesting setup if I've ever seen one. Alright, well, we'll try Banjo out, but uh, this is the excuse if I lose. You, you, gonna, you guys gotta know that, right? <laughs> Versus a Wario. Ugh. I don't know about this, man. Oh, man, I, I wanted to message this dude back. Oh, and this is where the lag begins. All right. Oh, he can just eat my side B. Okay. I've never actually played up against like a decent Wario before, so this uh, might not go so well. This dude really just be here spinning neutral B. <laughs> like, what does he take us banjo players for? Not all of us spam the damn button. I swear, this one move is like my entire neutral game gone. Oh, I fell right into it again. Okay. I do not like Wario anymore. <laughs> I genuinely hate Wario. You want to eat something? Eat that, my dude. Oh yeah, run right into my shield. How long can Wario ride on that damn bike for? Okay, that's just kind of ridiculous. What's the range on that damn move? Okay, I'm not even getting anywhere near him, and I'm still taking this damn bite. Excuse me. Yeah, there you go. Get lost. You think you got me on read, eh? Okay, that's ridiculous. How much range does Bite actually have? Yeah, 
You know, it's a shame. I really thought I'd be seeing better Wario's this high up in, uh, in GSP. I what? Okay. Well, that wasn't fun. Great. I think I've developed a new hate for Wario. <laughs> My god, man. Oh, it's it's the inability to get like precise movement here because I'm always just going like full throttle 100% all the time. All right. Well, let's go back to Terry. Let's work some of that GSP again. <laughs> Lord knows I'm not getting it back. I'm surprised my internet is not having a damn spasm at this point. Like, I feel like either the stream or the game should have really just died out by now. That's the whole reason why I stopped doing, like, online streams with uh, Smash Bros. in the first place. That's the whole reason I'm doing Breath of the Wild, even. Oh, a Meta Knight. Well, I'm either going to get juggled or something else, because I have never seen a Meta Knight player in my damn life before. I wonder if this is just one of those dudes that was like, oh yeah, this guy used to be good in, in Brawl, right? And I have no more jump, and I'm dead. Okay, great. This is going fantastically. <laughs> What am I supposed to do against this guy? I feel like all of my moves are just way too laggy. He'll just pop up another up air before I can even do anything. Okay, well, I saved my jump and apparently it didn't even matter. Yeah, would you guys believe that I have a Super Smash Brothers YouTube channel? <laughs> I don't even believe it half the time. Damn, dude. Why are, like, none of my moves connecting? Like, I charge... Yo! Okay, we all saw that, right? I'm actually calling this, like, a load of shit here. Excuse me! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen... Oh, God... I think you just witnessed a hate crime here. All right, maybe Terry is not the right answer. However, we do still have two other characters that uh, also could take use of the fight stick if that somehow works. All right, we're gonna go back and play against some level nine CPUs. Apparently, I am not skilled enough to play against spammers online yet. I'm still working that kink out. All right, so we'll do a little bit of training with Ryu, because again, God, when did that video come out? Like in March or something? Ah, uh, time passes way too quickly, man. What color Ryu did I like? Uh, let's go with all yellow. We'll do banana Ryu. We're just gonna go straight into a level nine CPU. See if I can do anything about this. Uh, Richter's not an awful opponent to be facing right now. Like, if we can gimp him with the, the Hadouken. Oh, I did the uh, I did the true input version of it. Sick. I feel like I'm going to start doing all the uh, Terry mannerisms. I think I said that word completely wrong. Yeah, there we go. Every time I play Ryu, I feel like I just instinctively want to jab jab power dunk. Because they feel so damn similar. I mean, I guess they're somewhat similar, like their side B is kind of like a, it's a way to get you some range. Oh man, okay, I wanted to so badly sure you can. He can still get back from there using a uh, good old whip. Oh, I thought I outran it. See the Hadouken input, I know, ah, yikes. I know the Hadouken input is like pretty easy for a lot of people to do, but for me it just feels so unnatural. It's like, it's like down left and then angle down, which is kind of strange. There we go. There's some SDI. That's what we've been talking about. 
I also really hate how uh, Ryu side B is like just one single hitbox. You know, as soon as they parry it or they shield it, like you're not going to get hit by it again. We are actually just playing against Belmont spam. Who signed me up for this? And why do none of my moves have any priority? Am I going to do an arena? I mean, I, if my internet works out, I probably could. And yet, considering how badly I seem to be losing, I don't think that would go so well. Oh, man. Yo, this Richter has got it in for me. He's just like, another character with a not-so-great recovery? Bro. Bro! Dude parries the down B. The strongest thing that I have in my toolkit at the moment. And he just parries it. Finally, my move has a little priority. God. I can't remember the last time I felt that feeling in my life. Oh, there we go. That's, that's the Terry coming out of me again. I don't know how that managed to kill, but sweet. Alright, we are just going to shield camp on the ledge and do our best to make this dude uh, regret every decision he's ever made. Which so far is not going too splendidly. Taking a hit gives us some air which is something we kind of need right now. Ooh, ouch. Axe right in the face, damn it. All right, apparently I'm not doing so much better using the fight stick. I was going into this feeling kind of confident, but <laughs> I feel like my dreams have been shattered here. All right, let's just go right back into it. We'll do a match with my boy Ken. Which Ken are we gonna use? We'll go white Ken, why not? Looks like he's a, you know, a jujitsu master or something like that. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be like the most one-sided match against the CPU of all time. This is uh, whatever the opposite of a base matchup is. Yeah, this is a uh, pure poo. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that was, uh... <laughs> I had that in my head. Like, I thought, hey, maybe this could work. Didn't actually expect it to. See, Ken's side B being, like, a, a multi-hit move rather than just reuse singular hit, I feel kind of gives it a little bit of an edge. There's multiple hitboxes where at least, you know, if they do something like parry you, at least there's a chance that you'll be able to kind of recover back from it. I don't even understand how I did the uh, true input Hadouken from before, because I feel like I can't replicate that now. Okay, well there's a stock down on Min Min. Maybe I should have been playing Ken this whole time. Then again, Ken wasn't in Fortnite, so that wouldn't have made a whole lot of sense, would it? I don't know, man. I've seen some people do some really cool shit with the Shotos, but like... I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I don't think I ever will be. Aw, oh, okay. I stalled in the air, I did the wrong B button attack. No matter though. Cause that's just a, that's a mistake on me not being able to play. That shows absolutely nothing about my actual abilities in the game. Yo, I don't even get the chance to respond or anything here. I feel like a cancelled celebrity. I don't get a chance to give my response. Oh man, this Min Min is juggling me like nobody's business. Oh, 
damn it, damn it. <laughs> I should be better than this, but apparently no, that's that's not happening today. Okay, I thought maybe I might have had a chance, but no, we are way out of range for that to work. I just need to catch her at like... Oh no! Okay, you probably saw what I was going for. I was trying to get the uh, Shoryuken. And it just didn't work. She, like, jumped out of it the last second. The, the downward part of her nair actually saved her. But no matter. We got the stock. Taking down yet another noodle. I don't know. Against a good Min Min player, honestly, I think this particular matchup, like, me with this fight stick, would be completely impossible. I'm losing to the goddamn CPU. I didn't even expect that to kill. I didn't have a funny line set up for the end of the match. Oh, now I'm just salty. <laughs> Alright, so apparently my skills have gotten a little bit worse. I feel like I've very much peaked with that one, like, W with Terry. And then everything from there has just kind of gone downhill. Alright, I'm going to quickly get back into the swing of things. There we go, I just did that thing again that I mentioned way earlier in the stream about, uh... Not being able to pick my costumes properly because L and R switched on this thing. Go. Alright, we're gonna play a match of Banjo, as, you know, terrible as it sounds to most people. But I feel like I need, like, a good W. I, I need something to prove that I'm not utter trash. Yeah, see, doing drag down nares and stuff like that for certain characters, like, this could be actually a really helpful uh, controller to use. Oh damn it. Somebody was so ready to get Wonder Wing punished. Oh, yikes. Okay, I got, like, tippered on that thing. Yo, if that was, like, <laughs> if you had, like, Marth tipper mechanics, I would so be dead. Yikes, yikes. Okay. I know we can beat Ganondorf. Come on. Well, thank God he missed that stupid, uh... What on earth did he even do? He tried to tilt attack or something? I'm starting to forget what I even did just a couple seconds ago. Okay, first stock down. No big deal. I don't know if it's been like super hot where you people live too, but like, uh, even in Canada, like, you you don't really think of Canada as a country that like gets super warm or anything like that. But like, I think today was probably like 30 Celsius or something, which for all you Americans is some number I'm too lazy to figure out. Ooh, how'd I actually been able to follow up on that? That actually could have led to something cool. <sighs> Okay, there we go. We're gonna punish you for your bad landing. You know, actually, I guess when you think about it, using the turbo button, if you map another button to like hit, let's say shield for example, right? You could technically even have like a parry button. You could like, you know, if you just like spam turbo on a shield or something like that, you could absolutely like insta parry. Oh, yo, what the hell? Oh, for some reason it says Breath of the Wild hashtags. Usually when I set up my streams, I usually just like reuse the settings from the last uh, the last stream that I did, uh, which would have been the last part of Breath of the Wild. So I think that's why that's showing up. I was kind of in a rush because I was even late to get this stream started up. I was supposed to start at like 7 p.m. my time. And judging by the look of it, I was about 15 minutes late. Honestly, it was just like quickly whipping together the thumbnail and then, oh my god. I, I gotta take a picture of this afterward because this setup looks completely ridiculous. Like if, if you walked into my apartment right now and just saw me filming like this, you'd be like, what the hell is this man doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'll be sure to fix that afterwards, yeah. 
I'm so bad when it comes to doing streams. Like, I feel like I set everything up last minute and then it's like, whoopsie, I am super late today. All right, I need one W as Banjo. Oh, my content is great. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. I love getting comments like that. It's, uh... I mean, I'm sure some people probably see them a lot more often than others, but, uh... The majority of comments on YouTube are also very much just like, Oh, haha, me funny. A funny overused joke. Oh, man, why'd I have to get played up against a hero? Yo. That was totally meant to be a downward press. I guess you'd probably be able to see it from the stream, but I feel like I had hit the control stick downward. No, instead it just wasted one of my five Wonder Wings. There's potential disadvantage. And again, like, I feel like, you know, try this out for a little while, see if you improve. Obviously, like, playing against CPUs would probably be your first bet, but there could actually be some legitimate advantage using a controller like this. I don't know if I play any characters that necessarily benefit from this, per se. Oh, man, okay. Wouldn't that have been great if he just, like, zoomed right onto my grenade egg? <laughs> One can only hope, right? Oh, wow. I'm so surprised I didn't get punished for that. The CPUs know, like, exactly when to punish. Try Game & Watch. Huh. I never thought about Game & Watch being able to benefit, but we can definitely give it a try. Though, quick warning. Uh, my Game & Watch is utter crap. Like... Ah, damn it. I mean, I know you can just spam, like, down smash, which is the majority of my neutral with Game & Watch. But we'll give it a try. We'll, uh, harness some of the combo quickie power. Also, apologies for, like, you know, I, I, I meant to definitely give you guys an update a little bit earlier this week, but I think something just came up and I completely forgot about it. Uh, this week I was kind of just hoping to focus a little bit more on the single video coming out later this week. Uh, you know, hopefully, I mean, if I get it done on time, because how inconsistent am I, right? Uh, so essentially on Saturday will be the one year anniversary of the first video that I ever did on the channel. Uh, not the stupid Pokemon meme, like, <laughs> the first legitimate, like, hey, I'm trying to be a YouTuber. Uh, which was the very first, like... Every time I'm in midair, I cut the frame. Oh, that was a pretty sweet kill. Uh, so essentially, what I had planned was to try to just redo that concept again, but given, you know, everything that I have learned up to this point of being a YouTuber. More like along the style of my modern stuff, whereas, like, when I made that video, I was just kind of more experimenting. Oh, this is how you use an Elgato. This is how you use a microphone. <laughs> this is how you use Audacity, because I did not know any of that back then. So yeah, I think that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of frame cutting. I mixed up the characters too, because in the first video I was just like, hey, I'm only good with Banjo. Let's play 10 games of Banjo. Uh, and that did not go so great. And one of the characters that I picked is Cloud, and uh, I'm only realizing in post-production of the video, like, that was a terrible idea. Do you know what Cloud does when he runs? He floats. And you know what happens when you float? <laughs> you leave the ground. <laughs> So every time I do a dash or like try to run with the uh, cloud in the video, I have to cut it out. And that has been so damn annoying. Like going through this frame by frame, no wonder I stopped doing this type of content. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that would have been a cool mix if I did it on a person. Like, oh, they're expecting an up tilt, so I'm just going to air dodge my way out of it and then re-grab. There we go. I need to feel like a little bit of W getting back in here. You've definitely learned a lot from the <laughs> from what I watched in the past few months, excuse me. Uh, I definitely feel like, at least since 2021, I feel like I've really gotten into a groove of, like, I know what I want to do, I know how I want the video to come out. God, I can't tell you, like, how many times really early on I was like, I gotta make sure I have, like, five takes of every funny joke that I have, and then pick the best one out of it, and then it was completely awkward either way. Uh, what I've learned to do since then is just be me. And that's the important part. If you, uh, if you ever really want to get into YouTube, I highly recommend just being yourself, because that's, that's all you can really ask for, right? 
Uh, let's go white game and watch. I'm I'm pretty white. You can see from the <laughs> from the hands here. All right, versus Ike. Yikes. I don't know how I feel about this one. Any character with a disjoint is uh, instantly kind of scary in my eyes. Oh no, okay. If I had just neared, I would have done one of my combos. You guys all remember my beloved Game & Watch combo quickie video? <laughs> Why am I like plugging every one of my videos in this stream? This feels so bizarre. I don't even play Game & Watch all that much on a normal basis. So playing him with a completely different con control scheme is totally messing my flow up. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. All right, 100% this could have gone better. So, I mean, I guess now's probably a better time than I need to get into, uh, you know, what's been going on in terms of uh, lack of uploads and stuff lately. Uh, I do have a little bit of other news. Oh my god, this Ike is not letting me go. He's just like, nearing and forward airing. <laughs> I feel like I can't even get in on him. Oh, Pac-Man for the pad would be pretty cool too. We'll definitely have to do a game of Pac-Man. Ooh, sheesh. Okay, I got Ike sided, whatever whatever we call that. It's not chromicide per se, but same general f oh. Whoops. Alrighty. <laughs> We're gonna have to redo that game, because uh I I'm not I'm not proud of that one. <laughs> Where are we? There's the A button. Okay. Alright, enough random stalling, whatever, so uh essentially I got contacted on Twitter not that long ago, like I guess maybe late last week. Uh, I was contacted by a fairly well-known YouTuber actually, and he asked me, I, I essentially had applied earlier on, like probably back in January to, you know, do some editing for him. Oh, why is it with the Palutena again? Anyways, uh, so I finally got a DM back like several months later, uh, I guess he was looking for people to, uh, you know, edit some videos for him, and so I got that response and I was like, hey, sure, I'll, uh, I'll give it a try. You know, if you're, if you're holding like, I don't know, tryouts, auditions, whatever you want to call them, right? Uh, so I spent like about probably three days working on, uh, you know, just whatever the footage that he sent me, I was basically trying to just turn it into like a finalized video. And so far, everything's gone pretty well. He actually wants to, uh, hire me on to do a couple videos a week. Which is pretty damn cool. I have not made a single penny off of my time on YouTube whatsoever. My channel is not monetized because, you know, short content doesn't get monetized, which, uh, whatever. It doesn't count towards my eligibility in the partner program, which is a shame. Oh my god, even CPU Palutena is just destroying me. But, you know, like, an opportunity like this is just kind of nuts. I, I genuinely never thought that something like this would even happen. And I don't really know if I want to say who the YouTuber is at the moment, because, uh, I mean, I don't know if I'm really... I mean, I didn't sign an NDA, per se, you know? It's nothing that serious, but maybe just for the sake of it, I'll just save it for whenever the video eventually does come up. So that's what I've been working on. Unfortunately, if this does end up being a thing, that might mean less uploads on the channel, which, you know, I don't like to do. But I'm also going to try to take some time off work. Like, if this is a paid gig for sh oh, okay. It is a paid gig. I don't want to, you know, throw shade at somebody and just be like, Oh, ex-YouTuber never paid me for my work. <laughs> I'm not I'm not interested in getting controversy with, uh, let's just say, a YouTuber that I very much enjoy watching already. My god. Why am I so bad at <laughs> Game & Watch? This character should be just so simple. There we go. I hit the down smash one time. That's all I needed. Palutena just... Oh, damn it, man. Also, my apologies, too. I'm sure this is uh, not a very fun match to look at. Not just in terms of the gameplay, but I feel like... Uh, I'm not typically one of those people to get like very motion sick, but I get so disoriented sometimes playing on Northern Cavern. 
Like, this is the one stage in the entire game that kind of does that to me. I know a lot of people complain about other stages like Spiral Mountain. Like, fair enough. Everybody's themselves, right? But this one stage in particular for me, I don't know. Like, when it gets all bright and then the foreground and the background kind of mesh into one. Oh, it's so hard to see sometimes. So yeah, I mean, you know, just for the sake of right now, I'm probably not going to say who the YouTuber is. Uh, whenever the video does come out and is finished and uploaded on his channel, I will 100% make sure you guys know about it. But it is another Smash YouTuber. I guess I'll, I will put that out there. So that is pretty exciting. Uh, just about as exciting as that amazing kill from Palutena, right? <laughs> But yeah, all things considered, I mean, geez, that's, uh, <laughs> I'm still kind of in disbelief. It's, it's weird to watch somebody for so long and just be like, hey, well, first of all, just to reach out to me in general and be like, hey, are you still interested in editing for me? It's like, hell yeah, I'm still interested. And then, uh, you know, to actually like get the files, submit the stuff, see all the behind the scenes and everything is just so weird to me. Uh, I know I'm kind of used to doing that already with my own videos, but there's just something about seeing an established YouTuber's, like, raw footage. It's just like, whoa. Like, okay, this is serious. Uh, just as serious as Wolf's face. hey -o. I'm great with my transitions tonight, apparently. Just as great as my, my Game & Watch gameplay. Oh, how did he see through that? That was impeccable neutral. So yeah, I mean, like, I kind of just got the news today that everything was a go, so uh, I don't 100% know what this is going to mean for the future. It probably will mean a reduced upload in here, but at the same time, instead of taking time away from, like, personal stuff, I'm just going to take some time away from my job. Like, god damn, man, I already work minimum wage. I might as well make... Uh, the same amount if not more but doing something I love rather than just uh, the crappy minimum wage job that I'm getting to earn some money in this damn pandemic so that'll be really exciting I'm 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 very much looking forward to people seeing that video I thought I was being kind of clever using the uh, the chef <laughs> neutral B approaching the ledge but I don't think it really did much for me I have also realized, yikes, okay, I realized in all my time, like, just spamming side B, I don't think I've hit a single 9. Like, I've hit just about every other number, maybe except for one, mind you. But I feel like I've hit every other number at least a single time. Oh, there's an 8. I was close. I was very close. Why on earth does this up B send that? Oh, yikes. I hit the wrong button. Thank God Game Watch has a really good recovery. Okay, nine. Yo! <laughs> I need to call this stuff out more often because, like, I've been doing really good with my callouts today. Oh, man, it's been crazy. I think I filmed uh, the Ike combo quickie, like, really early last week, so it's been over a week where I've even, like, thought about YouTube for a while. Or at least YouTube in terms of my own channel. So it does feel like a while, and I apologize. I've got... Oh, let's, uh, let's heal up, get some food in us. Yikes. I do have some stuff planned out. I already have a couple videos in the backlog that I'll try to work on. Uh, I'm also going to try to get, of course, that video out on time for the one-year anniversary. Uh, if it doesn't make it out, I guess I'll just make a funny haha -ha joke in the beginning, just being like, ha, huh, this totally didn't come out on my one-year anniversary. But either way, uh, not to sound too much like a Nintendo Direct, but I hope you guys look forward to it. Yeah, it's so weird, like, there's there's so much stuff here that's gonna... <laughs> there we go, I got a nice call. That's that's all we can hope for, right? <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that's probably gonna change around here, like, in the near future. We'll, uh, we'll just have to see. 
I feel like anytime there's like any kind of change whatsoever, it's always kind of, you know, a little shocking at first, but I'm sure I'll get this all figured out. Who do I want for the next DLC? Um, I've said it in a few places, but not really discussed it all too much. I don't really play a whole ton of video games outside of my, like, established stuff. So, like, as a kid, I was into Donkey Kong Country, I was into Mario, I was into Pokemon. Th those are basically the three... Yeah. Those were the three series that I played a lot as a kid. Uh, so for the most part, when it comes to DLC characters that I want to see in the game, mostly has to revolve around that. So my number one call right now would probably be Dixie Kong. Um, you know, it's not super likely that she'll get in the game per se. But just for another representation in the Donkey Kong Country series, I feel like the series at least deserves it, you know? Donkey Kong is, like, one of the longest-running franchises. If it weren't for that, they wouldn't have Mario, let's be honest. So, I mean, at least showing the Donkey Kong Country series some love would be pretty nice. I am not particularly great with Pac-Man, but we will finally give, uh, give our boy a run for his money. And <laughs> we'll make him extra ugly with the yellow. So that would be my top pick for, like, let's say Nintendo. If I were to go third-party... Uh, out of all the popular picks, I, I'm a fan of the Crash Bandicoot series. I played some of the games as a kid. Never a PlayStation kid, but whenever I would, like, go over to my cousins or something like that and they had a PlayStation, it was usually either a Crash Bandicoot game or, like, GTA, which, uh, <laughs> not the combination of games you would expect. And I don't necessarily think we're gonna get, like, Franklin from GTA V. <laughs> Though you never know, it could be, uh, could be a thing. I wasn't expecting Severoth of all characters. Yeah, Pac-Man's uh, up e or sorry, Pac-Man's down air does not do uh, the spiky thing. The thing that most down airs do. I honestly have not played a whole lot of Pac-Man either in this game or in Smash 4. Like, I remember Pac-Man was one of the characters that I really liked starting up Smash 4, but eventually I just kind of settled into Mario and long story short, End up finally finishing off the game as what I would say is more of a dedicated Corrin main. I've never really talked about it too much, because I, I never... Oof. <laughs> I love Severos up air. That's, that's always such a savage move when it kills. I don't really talk too much about Smash 4, because like at the time I was really not involved in like the, the Smash Bros. community. Aw, oh, man. If I didn't stop to scratch my face there, I probably would have gotten something sick off of that... Uh, the the thing there the bell the stunny by the way subscribe hit the bell <laughs> turn on notifications all that fun stuff that every youtuber is supposed to just spam out every single time but yeah i did not own a wii u i mostly played smash 4 through my 3ds which uh 3ds capture software is not too easy to come by nowadays and yeah i could emulate it but my computer really kind of stinks sometimes when it comes to certain emulators Okay, let's shield that. Oh, yo. I feel like I've very much been uh, not hitting my stride here. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, no, no. No, no. Sephiroth really just did the thing on me, dude. I don't know if my like lack of knowledge of certain characters shows in these moments. I kind of just, uh, you know, I kind of resort to playing like my my ten year old self, where I would just try to get in position and hit a good smash attack. Because if Pac-Man has any kind of cool combos, I certainly don't know them at this stage of my life. You guys can wait like twenty some odd videos for the Pac-Man combo quickies, where I so delve into all the fruits. <laughs> I just picked up the Kingdom Heart remake when it was on sale and I want Sora to get in. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like there very much is like a... You know, it's it's never really 100% confirmed. It's a lot more of like fan speculation thing. But with Sephiroth already being in the game, I think Sora's chance is very unlikely. It was unlikely in the first place too, considering, uh, you know, having partial ownership with Disney. I don't know if Disney would ever want to get a character into Super Smash Bros. Nor would Sakurai maybe even want to do something like that in the first place. Like, I feel like seeing something like, uh, you know, Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and Goofy all, like, helping Sora out in Smash Bros. is kind of like, 
antithetical to the whole reason why we like Smash Bros. so much. That's why I'm also not super into, like, the meme picks like Shrek or Goku. Sure, you can call me a Smash purist, you can call me, like, a serious tryhard, whatever. But I think Smash Bros. is very much deserving of, uh, you know, video game characters. That's where it started off, right? Alright, well, my Pac-Man is not so great. Maybe we'll test out a character that I'm, like, somewhat decent with. I guess technically I could also use this as, like, background footage whenever I eventually put a video out about controllers. There we go, that's, uh, that's my excuse for doing this. I'm okay with K. Rule, but it's been a while since I used him. He's, he's easy enough to use, I guarantee I can get a win out of this. But yeah, if uh, anybody has any other suggestions for what I can do with a fight pad, like even outside of Smash Bros, get lost, Luma. Uh, I would love to hear those ideas, because honestly, I bought it just with the intention of like, hey, this could be a funny video idea. Or I guess rather I, I got it as a gift from my, my lovely girlfriend for my 24th birthday. Every time I think of that goddamn number, I just feel so old. I don't know, working with minimum wage, right? Like, you you work with a lot of young people. So the majority of people that I work with, right, are, like, <laughs> just about to start college and stuff. Oh, my God, it feels so weird to hear stuff like that. Just like, oh, I'm going through my college admissions and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, man, I'm so glad I'm not doing that anymore. I mean, I guess you could probably also even say the same thing about my YouTube audience. Most of you guys, I think, are within the 18 to 24 range, so I'm, like, on the high end of that. I've been using the neutral B. Oh, man, I would so love to get a kill using back air. I think K. Rule back air is honestly one of the most stylish-looking moves in the entire game. Oh, she took my crown. You trying to become a, a queen, my dear? That sounds a lot more misogynistic than it needs to. Oh yeah, you can't grab Luma. That's so bizarre to me. Luma kind of acts more like a... What does she even act like? You can grab assist trophies in this game. That killed? Yo. <laughs> Most of us. True. I'm like the, the old ass boomer at this point, man. <laughs> Oh, you, you Zoomers nowadays, man. God, it's so weird. Even some of my bosses are like 18, 20. It's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, no. Okay. We got to end this off with a, a nice old K. Rule back air. It's honestly such a nice looking move. Alright, okay. First of all, gotta psych her out. Gotta make her think that she's safe. Then... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I just got pinballed around by Rosalina and Luma. The full character is finally here. Oh, K. Rool can so survive that. Gotta love K. Rool's recovery. You know what? If I don't win this with a K. Rool back air, I'm, I'm gonna count this match as a loss, because... Uh, It'll feel like a loss in my heart, at least. Okay. Gotta get rid of that stupid Luma! Oh my god! Oh, here we go. Okay, back your time. Oh. <laughs> what kind of timing was that? What was I expecting out of that? Well, thank God you didn't try to spike me there, because that could have been uh, the end of our good crocodile captain over here. Okay, there we go. We send Luma back into the stars. Oh, there we go! <laughs> it wasn't the back air I was hoping for, but maybe it was the back air we deserved. Alright, nice to win with a retro character, too. You know, with all the improvements K. Rool got in uh, in Ultimate, he doesn't really feel like much of a retro character. 
but like his last mainline appearance was DKC three, was it not? Like you know, back in the nineties, a Q Bojack Horseman intro. <laughs> What other fun characters can we try out with this? Oh, we could do Rob. I'm basically playing an NES right now. Uh, we gotta, we gotta stick traditional. We gotta use the NES color scheme. That's the only thing that makes sense, right? Oh, this goddamn Yoshi again! <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Oh man, I don't know. There's something about streaming. It feels very fun to do this. Like. Yeah, it's one thing to, like, record a video and, like, oh, I have a million takes to do absolutely everything in case I stuff it up, but... I don't know, there's something about just doing it live and, like, not having to worry about it afterwards. It's such a nice feeling. So my Rob gameplay is, uh, just about as consistent as my side B. Which is to say, I only use side B. Oh, wait, hold the phone. I trained a Rob Amiibo back in the day. I know what I'm doing here. I was not honestly expecting the Yoshi down B. Nobody does. I feel like nobody likes this damn move. Oh, that was so weird. I did like a random... Ah, oh, damn it. I did like a random like B reverse in midair for the, uh, the laser neutral B and I kind of just sent some of my momentum the other way. Was not expecting that. Oh, we so read the Yoshi. He tried to air dodge out of that, and I was like, no, sir. God, I love Town and City. Like, just this aesthetic here brings me back to the days, you know? When Animal Crossing City Folk was the newest game in the series. Still my favorite one, to be honest with you. Like, yeah, New Leaf 100% was so much better, but I think it was just like... Having friends that were also really into Animal Crossing back then, too, it really, uh... It made a huge difference. And like, I like New Horizons for the first, let's say, month of the pandemic or something like that. What? What the hell was that hitbox? How the hell did he kill me? I was expecting to spike him. I guess I kind of just have the same critiques of uh, New Horizons as a lot of people do. Which is like, I kind of wish there was more in the game to do from the start. I don't mind getting post-game content. Like, obviously, I love getting uh, stuff like the Fighter's Pass. When it's just like, here's a free update that adds something that was in New Leaf. Uh, I don't know, it just, it doesn't feel like a free bonus to me. It feels like you just delayed the game just to get it out on time for the beginning of the pandemic, you know? Of course, I don't think that's necessarily the agenda they had. I don't think Nintendo knew about the pandemic. But you never know, there's 100% uh, some conspiracy about that right now. I've never really tried my hand at making Animal Crossing content too, because I don't know what the overlap between Smash and Animal Crossing is whatsoever. Oh wow. Excuse me? Down special sends you upward? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there we go. Um, who else am I good as? <laughs> I guess I can kind of just cycle through a bunch of characters. Uh, was Has that video come out yet? I don't remember which video it is. Uh, but I remember back when I was doing the, uh, the Pit combo quickies. Pit was actually a very entertaining and fun character to be using. Uh, let's see. We'll go with the Dark Pit skin. I don't think we're going to trick the CPUs. I think they'll probably understand, uh, you know, what's all going on. I don't <laughs> they're they're going to DI the side B properly, for sure. But I don't know, just playing, uh, playing Pit and Dark Pit for that combo quickie, that was so cool. Like, they genuinely have some really cool moves. I think it has to do with a lot of their multi-hits. I'm, I'm a big fan of any move that's, like, multi-hit. Even stuff that's as annoying as Palutena Nair and, you know, stuff like that. Multi-hit moves are just so damn satisfying to land in this game. So pit up air, pit forward air, and I think pit neutral air are all multi-hit moves. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Back air looks cool in my opinion. I like the way that it looks. 
it's not a very powerful back air. Like, a lot of characters' back airs are usually kill moves. Pits is just kind of, like, incredibly weak, and same with this down air, even. And I don't think once as this character I've ever really taken advantage of uh, Guardian Orbitars. Chat and Jay, what's your favorite move? I am a little bit interested in this because uh, I don't even know how to answer that. I have been thinking about making a video along that style, and I already kind of have a sort of something planned for, like, uh, the top worst looking, uh, or, like, the worst animated moves in Smash Bros. I have a few contenders for that list, but just overall, like, favorite move? I don't even know. I think... This is gonna sound very strange. But I think just in terms of the move that I like the most for its its kill potential would probably have to be Banjo Forward Air. I know that sounds so weird coming out of my mouth, but like, it is true. Yes, Mario Forward Air 100% is like better in every conceivable way. You know, nobody doesn't like <laughs> Forward Aerial. You know, even when Alpha Rat is tired of the joke, everybody still just loves Forward Aerial. I don't know, there's just something so meaty about banjos, though. I, I don't really know how to explain it. Like, every time I use a banjo forward air, I just feel like, damn, he's really giving it his all. He's uh, really sending his opponents <laughs> flying. And yeah, I do wish that banjo forward air spike too. That would be, like, my one change that I'd love to make to the character. But for what it is, my god, like, you land that move as a kill move, and it feels so satisfying. It's just... It's, like, one of the best feelings in this game. Honestly, I think just any move that's got, like, a good amount of, like, setup and payoff for the setup is awesome. <laughs> I was gonna say it's worse than, than forward aerial. Aw, oh, damn, I stuffed up that recovery. I got destroyed by the Kirby CPU. <laughs> yeah, it's 100% worse than Mario's aerial, like, don't get me wrong. But, like, I don't know, just... Banjo is such a... I think the deal is Banjo is such a happy-looking character in so many of his different animations. Like, he's always running around smiling. Like, you know, he'll do, like, his jab one two three combo and he's got a huge-ass smile on his face. But there's something just so savage about it when he does his forward air and he gets all angry and just wham, you know? Oh, that... Yeah, wham! <laughs> there, that actually showed up on camera. Um, jeez, I don't even know. For YouTube SEO, I guess we could play a game of uh, Pyramithra. Why on earth not? I have not really touched Pyramithra. Uh, I'm not going to continue that sentence. <laughs> I have not used Pyramithra much since uh, since they came out, to be honest with you. I did the challenge video like very early on when they released, like the first week. Oh, yeah. I, I do not want to be doing that right now. I'm going to be Mithra for the, the beginning part of this match. You know what? I feel like uh, I'm not really hitting my grabs and shields enough, and that's probably just my issue because uh, I'm not really used to where the buttons are on the controller even. It feels weird having to press like five different buttons. Okay, so I guess we're just playing uh, Bullet Hell Simulator. Man, gotta love Toon Link. <laughs> Aren't you so glad that Toon Link is in Super Smash Bros? Man, how long are the fuses on those things? Oh my goodness. Oh, yikes. Okay. Thank God I caught the ledge there. I, I did the photon edge and like instantly in my head I was just like, shit, I'm dead. <laughs> oh man, if I had to give like best animated move compared to like just my favorite move, I don't even know. I feel like... Uh, there are a lot of really nice looking moves in Smash Bros, like don't get me wrong, but there's something just so visceral and satisfying about K. Rool, uh back air. Like ever since, even when I played K. Rool, like the one thing that I loved fishing for was just like, you know, back throw into reverse aerial back air. Oh good, I was gonna say, like there's no way Toon Link survives that. 
Thank God even the CPUs are capable of SDing, because I think that's like the only way I'm going to get anything done here. He just jumped directly into my neutral B. I mean, I don't know, there's a lot of really satisfying things that I love to do in this game. Like, I don't play a ton of Joker, but when I do, I love just doing, uh... I love doing, like, short hop up air into catching them with the grappling hook into another up air. Like, that's just so damn cool. I love that loop. It just feels great to actually finally pull off into a match. What's another character I like? Oh, yeah. I Maybe we'll play around a Corrin afterward, but Corrin back air, too. That's another really satisfying kill move. I, I think it's just like when her wings extend out or whatever and she gets pushed backwards a little bit. Man, that does so much to like really show off just how damn powerful that move is. Because like, you know, otherwise it would just kind of look like a normal like, oh, it's a character with wings flapping their wings. What's the big deal? Oh, yikes. Okay. <laughs> I did not know that the sword would come back. I genuinely thought I had just uh, committed die. <laughs> Oof. Okay. We got red big time. But uh, Big Mama Pyra... <laughs> big Mama Pyra is putting in some work for us today. <gasps> oh, Oh, damn it. If Uppy had killed, like, an Ike Uppy. <laughs> oh, that would have been a W. Damn it. All right. That's another L to Toon Link. Take a shot every time I lose to Toon Link. <laughs> yeah, let's do a match as Corrin. Why not? I haven't played Corrin in quite a while. Uh, which direction is it again? I can't even remember. I play... I play... Uh, play I can't even say my damn words. Anytime that I change a character's, uh, what do you call it? When I change to their different alts or whatever for uh, the amiibo videos, that I usually use the alt that I end up actually using uh, in my games. So, you know, back when I did the corn amiibo video, it was pink female corn. That's the skin that I use. I don't know, just something kind of nice looking about it. And I mean, like, I use, like, Gold Banjo. Uh, what else? I have, like, the the Dark Bowser, the, the Edgy Bowser. Rob, I think... Okay. I normally play Red Rob. But I think just for the sake of because I named it Cheesebot, I changed him to Yellow because, you know, that makes the most sense, right? And then what was the other amiibo I trained up? Oh, the Mario. Uh, Mario, I kind of honestly alternate just between, like, his default colors and the tuxedo. Those are, like, my two favorite alts for them. If this Terry shows me up... Ooh, yikes, yikes, yikes. I cannot believe I recovered there. I thought I had stuffed that up. Yeah. I really don't want to get, like, shown up by my own Terry. See, if that was a human player, I don't think he would have expected the, uh, Corrin pin into a stage spike. But because it's a CPU, you gotta prepare for everything, right? Yeesh. Okay. Probably should not have stuck myself out like that. But no matter. But like, what's not to like about this move? Especially if I can land it? Oh, yo, okay. <laughs> Terry's actually sick. He like, he jab cancelled into Buster Wolf. Which is crazy. That's something I've never even done. Honestly, for the longest time, I didn't even know the Buster Wolf input, so uh, that really didn't help either. Oh, there we go. That's That kills, like, nearly center stage, just over 100 on Terry. Which, like, you know, Korn doesn't really seem like the kind of character that would have that kind of kill power out of, like, that particular back air, but it just does. If we're talking about, like, well-animated characters, Terry's definitely up there, like... He was very lovingly recreated into Smash Bros, and I feel like there's not a single one of his special moves that doesn't just look amazing. Including the one that I just got murdered by. 
Man, it feels so weird to play like a sword character using this setup. <laughs> Alright, time to get super serious. I'm gonna say that and then just like instantly die. I think that's how this works, right? Oh, no, no, no! Oh, I thought I hit the B button. Got a head of. Well, yeah, it was definitely fun. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> I didn't know how this kind of stream would go, especially, you know, not seeing my face for this one and all that. But that's all good. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate the chat. All right. I guess we'll try a couple more characters just to see if, uh, if I got any of those uh, creative juices in me right now. What's another character I used to play? I haven't played him very much in Ultimate, per se, but I remember Brawl. I was a big fan of Snake. Snake was just like... <laughs> his inclusion always weirded me out, and I don't know why. Snake just doesn't feel like the kind of character that, you know, should be in Smash Bros. Three, two, if I remember the whole, like, oh, did you know gaming, I'm pretty sure it was uh, Kojima had actually asked for him to be put into the game because his son likes Smash Bros or something. So yeah, that 100% that sounds like a perfect explanation for why someone like Snake managed to get into a game with uh, Pikachu and Kirby. <laughs> and Byleth, who is absolutely whipping my ass right now. Oh my god. Yo, I don't know what they did to the Byleth CPU, but my god, this dude goes nuts. You know, it's a real shame that uh, not a lot of people explore Snake out of his grenades, because... He's genuinely a really fun character with a lot of really cool moves. As ridiculous of an idea as like, whoa, okay bye, let's chill the hell out, dude. We're just having a fun casual match. I don't know, as as funny and like, ugh, I don't even have the reaction time anymore. Okay, realistically speaking, right? You do not shoot an RPG directly down at your feet. That will blow your legs off in real life. But there's something just so funny about it in Super Smash Bros. that I kind of like it. Oh my god, that was a very far fast fall. Let's hope I see... You can't see my face right now, but my god, my, my eyes are wide right now. I don't know how he managed to down air me and not my... Uh, <laughs> Not my uppy thing, whatever that thing's called. It's not the Nikita, it's something else. But God, the fact that he hit that instead of me, like, what? Okay, who else have I got Amiibo of? Oh, I know, Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to get some inspiration. You know what? There is a button that gives me inspiration right there. It's called random. We'll give that a shot. Who do we get? Uh, I'm not a Mewtwo guy. Three, two, one, go. I think I've played Mewtwo uh, more frequently for the Mewtwo combo quickie video than in any actual gameplay <laughs> within Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I played a lot of Mewtwo back in Melee, though I wouldn't really consider him to be my main because, like... When you're kids, right, and you two is like, play the game 24 hours consistently, nowhere does it ever dawn on me as, like, child me, oh, you can just keep the game on for 24 hours, and then, you know, end the game, and there's Mewtwo. I never thought about that when I was younger. So for me, unlocking Mewtwo was something that happened, like, you know, three, four years after I got Melee. I didn't even know there were characters left to unlock. Okay. Uh, Could have been a better recovery, we'll be honest with you. But at least there goes Duck Hunt. So yeah, I remember, like, I was shocked to have uh, Mewtwo in Melee, because I did not know he was in there at first. And yeah, like, you know, before anybody tries to call me up for being that old, there were, like, video game cheat websites, but I wanted to be legit. For the most part, I try to be very legit. Like, you know, aside from maybe, like, completionist stuff, like, uh, 
oh my goodness, what do you call it? The uh, shrines in Breath of the Wild. That 100% I had to get a guide for, because like, uh, there's no way I'm finding all 120 of those things in the overworld. But for the most part, when I play a game for the first time, I try to do it legit. God, I feel like when I get back to playing with a normal GameCube controller, I'm probably just going to keep doing the whole, like, oh, running back and forth like that to do a run. Yo, what is this fair train? There's no way in hell that that's actually a true combo. If it is, I'm going to retroactively change my combo quickie. Enzo, welcome back. Ooh. Let's take out this duck hunt. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't use Mewtwo all that often, but his down throw actually looks pretty damn fun. Like, just smacking... Get over here, you stupid dog. Look at that. Just, like, slam with the tail like that. That looks damn cool. There, we just had to delay our aerial so the CPU would try to dodge out. Only for him to fail because I have uh, a thousand IQ intellect playing Mewtwo. And bam, you just get a nice little psycho cutter like that. W uh, for free. Sweet. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to stream probably like too much longer. I'll probably make it to the two hour mark. So maybe for the last couple matches, let's go back online and see if, uh, see if me just messing around and chatting with you guys are like better. Or if, excuse me, if I'm better at playing online from chatting with you guys and doing all this stuff. Uh, okay, if I play Mario Odyssey, what new kingdoms would I want to see? So I did play Odyssey. I, I am a big Mario guy. Uh, in case nobody knew that. I mean, I do, I've played a couple Mario games, I think, in the past on the channel, but certainly not my bread and butter, at least in terms of content. Uh, we are going to go back as Mr. Terrence. See if we can uh, get ourselves a W online. Honestly, all I wanted out of Odyssey was just a little DLC. It would have been nice to see, like, oh, here's our new interpretation of, uh, I don't know, Delfino Plaza. I think that was the big one, like, seeing that leak that eventually ended up being fake of the, uh, of Delfino Island, or excuse me, Delfino Isle Plaza just, you know, running in Odyssey. Something about seeing that just broke my heart when it was true that it was, like, fake, you know? Once it was finally 100% confirmed. Alright, I don't know what to expect against a Marth. Probably just a lot of the A button. Well, somehow, despite my really bad gameplay, we've taken a percentage lead. Yeah, don't think you're going to get that one so quickly, Mr. Marth. I do feel a slight delay in this game. I think it might just be the connection. Oh, okay. I was not expecting to get, like, a, a command input uh, power dunk there, or excuse me, whatever that move is. I, I don't remember the names of the moves. I'm so not good at this. I think now that it's practically confirmed that we're not getting DLC for Mario Odyssey, I think the one thing I'd really want is just an Odyssey 2. Like, the engine is already so well done. Or even, um, you know, before we got Mario 3D All-Stars, like, I doubt we're ever going to get something 64 related on the Switch ever again. But even just like a full-on remake of Mario 64 using Odyssey's engine, I think that would be great. Like, don't get me wrong, I think the original N64 game, for what it is, is very revolutionary. But it's also kind of shown its age over time, and I feel like they could probably like improve upon it for the newer generation. Maybe add in some of the content from the DS version, even if most people don't consider that like the definitive edition of the game. All right, well, this is a pretty respectable Marth. Like, I think he's actually a pretty decent player. I just don't think he sees a Terry that does so much jumping. Then again, a lot of characters online, like maybe with the exception of Joker, you don't see a whole lot of people playing the old DLC characters online much. 
Like, I stopped seeing Banjos online almost immediately after Banjo came out. Which pains me as a Banjo main on the inside. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Oh, that's heartbreaking, dude. Well, thank you for giving me the space to, uh, totally not get punished by that. How on earth am I at, like, 200% and I haven't killed this guy yet? Okay, there we go. I have faith. Like, if I don't win this match, I think I'm going to rematch this dude, because I feel like I have a chance. I feel like every time I try to tech too, I keep missing the button. Sorry I got so quiet there, but like, I'm really trying to concentrate just to get this complete here. The last thing I want to do is get this far in a match and just, you know, stuff it up. Oh my god, no, no, no! Jeez! Ah! Oh. No! I cannot afford to lose! Oh, <laughs> that broke my heart. We were so close, too. I mean, if this guy wants to be honorable, I will give him a rematch for sure. Uh, on your channels, you do smash combos, and I can use them for combo quickies. That's that's pretty sweet. I'll have to give it a look and just see, you know? I, I do frequently check out other people's videos about, uh, you know, what are true combos, because let's just say very early on in the series, I tried to just make up my own jank, and a lot of people were just like, hey, you shouldn't be doing that. I say a lot, I maybe got like two comments, but even back then, you know? Starting to get a little bit of notoriety and people being like, hey, you're spreading misinformation on the game. Uh, that was terrifying. So I immediately course corrected and was just like, hey, let's use like the actual sources that like know what they're talking about. Okay, well this is definitely this guy's rule set because I never play with platforms. Like I try to avoid every platform stage at all if possible. Yeah, Terry Backthrow even is pretty damn <laughs> evil looking there. Okay, well that was a pretty good first stock. I, uh, I'm a little surprised that I've managed to get through here with not much damage taken. I mean, mind you, this is a 2 million GSP match. I, I don't exactly think I'd be beating Elite Smash players using this, uh, this arcade stick. But I'm impressed with my performance at least against a human player. Yeah, I don't think I'm making it back. Oh, <laughs> maybe I could have tricked him out. Maybe I could have been like, yeah, I'm not coming back, but neither are you. I feel like there's so many DLC characters too, where like, if they made one tiny little change, I would like the DLC so much more, like, <laughs> Fire Emblem players online are always good. For the most part, I would say so. Like, a lot of them know what they're doing. I feel like you don't just casually play Marth, you know? 
Well, he ate up my jump, so I'm certainly not making it back there. Okay, I thought maybe things were getting a little better for me, but, like, he just decided to turn beast mode on and, like, never look back from it. Okay, well, I guess he just didn't grab the ledge. I'm so fine with that, man. I need whatever this thing can get me. <laughs> I think I'm just trying to fish out Jab Jab Power Dunk at this point. crippling depression now oh I'm getting very quiet by the end here I apologize but like some of these games are very much coming up to the wire and it hurts my soul to just you know see this happening well King CJ I don't know how much GSP you're getting off of someone like me but you know if you want to keep rematching me there's certainly a chance I think I have some of his gameplay on lock <laughs> what a hand cam beautiful you know, I, I always do it for the fans. You, you want the hand cam? We'll do it. Next week is feet cam. <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening. Oh, for a second I was like, who's this guy? I just rematched with him again. <laughs> Alright, this, this is what we like seeing here. Is he even on his controller right now? Okay. Felt a little bad about, like, you know, taking so much from him right away. Oh, I think I had the right idea. Like, if he didn't have the uh, invincibility frames, I think Down Smash actually would have done something there. I don't know why I just jumped directly into his sword. Okay, I gotta keep remembering, side B is uh, not gonna cling to the ledge, so I gotta do that manually. Okay, I guess I gotta give... If I wanna do the input commands, I think I gotta give them a little bit more time. Because just trying to wildly sp like swing my uh, my control stick around does not seem to be doing anything. Oh shoot, no. I should play my main so I could win. I could probably try a game of Banjo. Uh, I did play a game of Banjo earlier and that did not go as well as I had hoped. I'm determined. Like, Yeah, I might be down the stock. Oh, well it's an even match right now. I don't know how a grab suddenly came out of there, but I mean, free damage, I will take it. Man, this feels super awkward sometimes, though, like... I gotta do more of, like, what Terry's known for. I gotta start, uh, doing some more jabs. I don't know how I landed on stage for that. Excuse me! That was a cool down air, though, I will admit. Oh my god. Okay, I thought I air dodged off stage for a second. Which, like, yeah, that's 100% not what I want to be doing here. Oh no! Okay, I was so trying to hit that down air. Excuse me! Well, I think that's it for me. 
Oh man. Okay. I cannot afford to lose. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get an online W, but uh, I, I played a few pretty half decent games. You know, at least against the level nine CPUs. That's all you can ask for right now, right? Solo battle. Terry is a weird show. He does have back special, which is better for recovery than burning knuckle. I see. The only problem is, I feel like every time I use Terry, I use uh, crack shoot the wrong direction. I just keep, <laughs> I keep SDing. How's my Greninja my number one GSP character again? That's, that's super weird. Uh, yeah. Well, I think that's gonna do it for me tonight. I kind of just wanted to pop on, just give this a little test, give you guys a little update. You know, everything's all going good. Ah, oh, here I should put my hands in frame so you have something to watch. I wanted to give you guys an update, make sure everything was cool. Everything's looking fine for me so far. Uh, other than that, yeah, I'm going to try my very best to have the one-year anniversary video out by Saturday. If that doesn't work, it'll just come out sometime later on, and uh, I'll just make a joke about how stupid I am and uh, how bad I am at uh, trying to schedule myself out. Uh, other than that, you can expect uh, something quite big. I will... I'll probably put a community tab post up and I'll probably talk about it in a video or something like that whenever the uh, the video goes live for a six-digit YouTuber that I've edited. I'm really excited for that, actually. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll talk sometime later. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. I appreciate it. My, my arcade stick very much appreciated it. And my stupid setup that I'm probably going to just post in a community tab post is uh, also appreciative of it. <laughs> Anyways, that's uh, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, until next time. Oh, I'm so used to doing that on my head. Uh, until next time, take care. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody.